Oh, ho, ho, ho. ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and Genshin Impact and Navia lovers, welcome back to another Genshin Impact reaction. It's currently a little past 5 a.m. And I thought there's no better time than to react to Navia, especially because her reaction came out recently. And I'm hoping to scoop up some new viewers, especially for the Twitch stream at Twitch TV slash Technics channel. Anyway, we're here to react to Navia. Now, we've reacted to Navia before, and I've given my opinions on her, but I'd like to give general updates of how I'm feeling on the characters. Maybe as time goes on, my opinions change. And if nothing else, it's another video for the algorithm. So... What do I think of Navia? We've seen a couple stuff already, and I think so far I'm not sold on her. She is Geo, which is my least favorite element. Although she is massively beautiful, insanely beautiful, she's, she's dropped dead gorgeous. Her gameplay is actually pretty good. Her gameplay is also somewhat self-sufficient, where she doesn't really need to have a mono Geo team. She probably could, but from what I've seen and what I've heard, her teams can be just mixed in with anything else. She doesn't need to have Mono Geo to really succeed, which is good. They finally made a Geo character work off of Crystallize, believe it or not. Wow. But I do believe Geo is probably the least popular element, mostly because it's used for defensive stuff. You could do some, you know, nonsense stuff with Noel and Goro and uh, Ito especially. But in general, Geo I think is pretty boring because it doesn't really have much reactions either. Any reaction it has is a shield. So Navia is kind of trying to turn that on their head and be a little bit of a damage dealer, which, you know, she has to work off the shielding aspect because that's all there is to Geo. Unless they want to do what they did with Dendra, which is introduce like a whole new element, which is the level of what they would need to do to Geo to make it viable, in my opinion. But regardless, I think Navia is a pretty good addition for those of you who want a hot woman who's a Geo damage dealer, who's also not reliant on solo Geo teams. I think she's great. I think she's pretty good. And uh, she has the new bullet mechanic, which is borrowed by the new uh, gun character coming after her. I forgot her name, but it doesn't matter. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm sitting. I think she's great, but definitely not for me. Because I am saving for hopefully Arlecchino and Skirk. I thought Arlecchino would come out sooner. And I'm kind of hoping uh, really hard she's going to come out at all. Because I'm surprised she hasn't come out already. And if she hasn't come out already, I sort of am scared she's not going to come out for a while or ever. But uh, we'll see. And then hopefully Skirk becomes rollable, but if not, then I'm saving for Natlin or anything else that piques my fantasy. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with the characters and the banners and Navia. But let's see if this changes my mind. The unofficial operation, her character demo. So this is probably going to show off how she is again. And it's probably going to be inferior if what I'm thinking it is. Um, actually, no, it's not the collected miscellany. I thought that's what it was because that describes the character. So let's actually see what this is. Ah, uh, yes. Boss, we have oh, a lead on that shit. no good thief. They call him the Sea Shadow. Hmm. This is his arrest. This warrant. is their base, by the way, in the sewers. He's, he's unpredictable, too. Which is they look all the same. Far. What was that, him? Why does this guy bump into them in the sewer, by the way? Oh, shit! Get back here! Yeah, Navia's story is she's basically the good mob boss. She's a mob boss that inherited, like, the mob. She's, like, a good person. She's very good. Oh, she's gonna shoot him! Oh, never mind. She's gonna, like, entrance him. Holy shit, she's running on the fucking walls! Damn, that umbrella is tough. Holy shit! Oh my, she's so hot! Damn, she fucking kicked him. He got that mean upskirt too. I'm jealous. Oh my god, she's beating him with an umbrella. It's so hot. Oh shit. Damn, she's mercilessly beating him. Oh my god, and she has swagger. And she has a gun. She's rich. She's rich and hot. Oh. And as you can see, she ate the crystallized stuff there. After all that beating, that guy can still run. This guy's a fucking tank. He's one step ahead. Wow. He had a balloon? Lynette! Oh, shit! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, my God. So I'm surprised she didn't have it like herself. Oh, oh shit! Please, boss! Put your umbrella away! Oh, my God! Holy shit! Oh, 
No way he has a Garter Mech. This guy's insane. What kind of criminal is he? Okay, and there's her ult. Wow. The cannons. The cannons of Rich. Holy shit. And she's so beautiful while doing it. Imagine how stupid she looks actually doing this while chasing a fucking criminal. Ah, ready to admit defeat? Oh my god, yes. Get you to the guards. Um, boss? I think he's dead. To get him to a doctor first. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I mean, granted, it's his own fault for running, but... Damn, yo! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, yet again, Genshin, for their character demos, did pretty fucking good. Um... I honestly don't think it's good as good as Linny's. Uh, Linny's is really, really good because he's a magician. Granted, they could go crazier, but this is still pretty crazy for the character demos. I feel like they're just not like losing with these. Even though it's not as good, it's still above a certain line where it's amazing. I think these character demos are so fucking cool. I don't know how hyped it gets people for the character. I feel like if you like her anyway, which it's not hard to like her, this is just going to you know put the icing on the cake. It shows her like elegant. It shows her very hot and sexy. It's great. It hasn't really convinced me though, but it was a nice watch. I definitely think for the character demos, they still are doing great things. It's still amazing. But that's pretty much going to be it. I mean, there's not much left to say. I really unloaded a lot of my opinions, and a lot of my opinions aren't really changed. So um, unless anyone has anything to say in the comments for Navia, it's really changed my mind. Like if she's meta or not. I don't think she's meta, but if she is, maybe I might rule for her, but I doubt it. But anyway, you can convince me in the comments or on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Technics channel. I hope everyone enjoyed. It's 5 a.m. I'm about to go running in the dark.